around the city of Chelyabinsk, a thousand miles east of Moscow. Sky's Russia correspondent Kenny Stallard has this report. Out of a clear blue sky on the morning commute, what we now know to be a meteor crashing to Earth. This is what it feels like when a double-decker sized chunk of rock hits the ground. At first, incomprehension, and then the rush to document what was happening around them. Footage recorded on a dashboard camera to the surreal backtrack of the car stereo. The light from the meteor lit up the sky as it passed overhead. Scientists say it entered the Earth's atmosphere at 33,000 miles per hour. The force of the pressure wave shattered glass and damaged buildings along its path. Most of the injured were treated for cuts and bruises caused by shards of glass and rubble. But the emergency ministry said more than 80 children have been injured. Two adults are in intensive care. A state of emergency has been declared across the three affected districts. In this classroom, the morning lesson had just started when the meteor hit. <laughs> Teachers led their children out into the snow away from the broken glass. In this office, the sheer force of the explosion knocks this man clean across the room. A Russian rock band witnessed the meteor from their tour bus. His interpretation of the space rock for scientists, this was a phenomenon not to be missed. We're not a so space rock like this that past the year. Asteroid 2012 DA14 is its official name. It's about 45 meters wide, the equivalent of about 150 feet, about the same size as an Olympic swimming pool. It whizzed past at a speed of 17,450 miles per hour, and it came closer than ever before, just 17,000 200 miles away from our planet, which is much nearer to Earth than the Moon, which is 225,745 miles away. The huge asteroid came within 5,000 miles of the belt of satellites that orbits the planet, but it was still well away from the International Space Center, that's 200 miles above Earth. These live pictures captured by NASA shows the asteroid passing the Earth more than 17,000 miles away, a near miss in astronomical terms. This is the first time an asteroid of science has been tracked since its discovery. It could be best. So plenty to look at in the sky tonight. And NASA predicts the next time we'll see something similar is in April 2029, when Apophis could pass her. It's expected to travel just over 18,000 miles away, but we're told not to worry, this is not likely to hit. And you can boldly go to Skynet's for iPad, where you can find out where and when to see that asteroid, some in-depth analysis too, and see exactly how close it will get to Earth. And uh, subscribers can log in for free using their Sky iPad.